And she wrote, I try to achieve my dreams and help others do the same. That, she said, is how the world should work. That's a pretty good model. I work hard to achieve my goals, and then I try to help others to achieve their goals. And I agree with Tamara. That's how the world should work. But it's only going to work that way if all of you get into good habits while you're in school. So yes, each of us need to work hard. We all have to take responsibilities for our own education. We need to take responsibility for our own lives. But what makes us who we are is that here in this country, in the United States of America, we don't just reach for our own dreams, we try to help others do the same. This is a country that gives all of its daughters and all of its sons a fair chance. A chance to make the most of their lives and fulfill their God-given potential. And I'm absolutely confident that if all of our students here at Master and across this country keep doing their part, if you guys work hard and you're focused on your education, you keep fighting for your dreams, and then you help each other reach each other's dreams, then you're not only going to succeed this year, you're going to succeed for the rest of your lives. And that means America will succeed in the 21st century. So my main message to all of you here today, I couldn't be proud of you. Keep it up. All of you, I know, are going to do great things in the future. Maybe sometime in the 21st century, it's going to be one of you that's standing up here speaking to a group of kids as president of the United States. Thank you. God bless you.
to see you, man. Thanks. Good to see you, guys. Is your daughter right here? How are you? The only reason I came is because he told me to.